Let me start, though, with what you might have seen a bit of today, but it's worth giving you my take before I talk to Amanda Stoker about it in a moment. And that is Labor's absolute cluster mess over its superannuation tax broken promise. Now, the change itself, as I said last night, well, you can make an argument for it. The tax concessions on super and at what level they should cut out or be reduced, that's a legitimate debate. But before the election, Labor promised they'd do nothing with super. And this just confirms they can't be trusted on taxes. And what do you know? By breakfast time today, we had the Treasurer, no less, refusing to rule out changes to the tax exemption on the family home. Well, I can say to your viewers that we haven't been focused on it, we haven't been working on it, it's not something that we've been just contemplating. Say yes. Well, I can't commit future governments uh, to changes or okay. otherwise. What we've done with this superannuation right, change, which I think people do recognise, is put it the other side of an election so that we can take it to the people. OK, under your reign as Treasurer, you will never change the capital gains tax exemption on the family home. Well, it's not my intention. You know, it's not something I've been thinking about, working up, contemplating. Just say guarantee. Well, we don't know what the situation might look like in 10 or 15 years' time under other governments. What a worry, hey? Talking about touching the third rail in politics, the family home. Capital gains tax. How could Jim Chalmers leave that one hanging out there? And what does his ambivalence tell us about his socialist agenda? The PM, well, Anthony Albanese, he had to clear it up pronto. Can you rule it out? Well, we have no... Yes, uh, we, are, we are not. We are not going to impact uh, the family home. Full stop, exclamation mark. And soon the Treasurer was in front of the cameras again with his tail between his legs saying he ruled it out too. Yeah, I do do that. Um, and I should have done that this morning too. Too late, mate. You've given the game away. So what's going on here? Well, it's straightforward enough, actually. The budget is in strife, we all know that. Labor is worried about where it's heading. And as usual, they've absolutely no idea how to cut spending or control the size of government and allow economic growth and budget discipline to repair the situation. So instead, they look for tax increases. Instead of doing the hard work of curbing spending, Labor just wants to raise more money, raise taxes. They'll keep looking, so look out.